Welcome everyone. We are on a mother nature treasure hunt this afternoon. We are out here gathering fall mushrooms. And I'll tell you what, when you fry them up, oh my goodness, they taste awesome. Now right here where I set this bucket down, this was a new one on me this year. I'd never seen this one before. But this is called the cauliflower mushroom. And this thing can go north of $40 a pound should you go to the farmer's market to attempt to buy some of them. Let's take a look at them. I'm going to show you back through the woods here uh, where the elkhorn are growing. That is another fantastic mushroom this time of year. And the conditions as far as rain and temperature have to be really, really in their favor for those guys to sprout up. Uh, we haven't seen them here for five years. But when we do find them, I mean, we can find a lot of them. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully, we can learn something together. And let's get to picking some mushrooms. Thanks for watching. The cauliflower mushroom. These are a little bit different to find. I found two of them. We actually grabbed one uh, a couple of days ago here in order to identify it. Again, this is new to me. I've never seen these before. But once we researched it, uh, we realized that these are considered a delicacy. Rolled it in egg batter and fried it in grease. And wow, I mean, it actually has a beef flavor. Uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, tastier, I would say, than the morels. So I'm glad that we discovered it. And I'm glad we now know that it is an edible mushroom. And uh, again, just tastes fantastic. And we're going to try to get as much of this guy up out of the ground as we can. Clip all these leaves and grass away from it. See if I can get down to the base. And hopefully, we may actually even have some next year. Well, it's, it's stout. There we go. Had to saw our way through it. Now look at that. Now we always soak any wild mushroom in salt water for about 24 hours. And I try to leave as much of the debris as I can behind. Into the bucket, I'm gonna trim this guy off. Mother Nature will supply you with what you need if you know what you're looking for. Okay, one down. And now, let's go back here and catch some of these elkhorn mushrooms before the squirrels pack them all off. All right. I see a pretty good cluster of them growing right here. Can you see that in the camera? These little gold guys right here is what we're back here looking for. Let me bring you up a little closer so you can see them. Now these are small ones, because normally we're looking for ones that's about this size. This is exactly what they look like, and you're going to see here in just a second when I get this cleaned back, where I can get the mushroom up out of the ground, why they call them elkhorns, or coral. Don't they look like little elk horns? These are tasty. And again, these are the small ones. Now this is something to identify to never eat in the wild. This is simply a toadstool. And when you pick them you can see that they have veins running across the bottom of them. So you really do have to be careful when you're out here picking wild items to eat and make sure that you know what you're looking at before you take it home to the dinner table. I was going to do a clean and cook for you guys. However, it's raining and I was going to actually cook these out on the grill. So with the rain coming in, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get that done for you. 
But my goodness, uh, I'm already looking forward to getting down there and frying some up, I can tell you that. Find one in one area, scan as much of the ground as you can before you move on because you very well could be uh, close to stepping on them before you get them to your bucket. Now we're getting to some that's got some size to them. Almost looks like coral reef, doesn't it? That's a nice size one. Now, this time of year, if you're out in the woods, make sure you've brought bug spray with you, some type of bug repellent, because right now the mosquitoes is following me. They tried to carry my bucket off twice, and I ain't giving it up to them. Uh, watch for snakes. They're, they're really active right now because they're trying to start getting ready for winter, and they're looking for places that they need to go to, you know, to hibernate. So watch for the snakes. Look at these guys trying to hide from us. Laying right here by this log. These are different than the morels, so you don't really have to be looking for any specific type of tree here in our area. Uh, these things are just growing all over the forest floor, so it truly depends on you just simply being able to spot them. A lot of them are still covered up from leaves and things like that. So, a little bit of patience walking through the forest will pay really good dividends at the dinner table. Then leaving these roots in the ground like that, hopefully they'll be back next year. Okay. And we're starting to get a bucket full. another nice bat growing up here. Oh yeah. We haven't went 40 feet from where we was at on, on the last deck here. Now these elkhorn mushrooms have a distinct beef tasting flavor to them. And boy, I'll tell you, uh, you put these along with steak and potatoes or something like that, wow, found some more right here. They will also range in different color. We have some in here that is bright orange. Whoops. We have some in here that is white or a, a yellowish white. And then we have some in here that are gold. But as long as they look real pretty like that, that's perfect. Okay, let's keep hunting. Well, all right, we've had a pretty good hunt, guys. 
the mosquitoes are about to pack me out of here, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. But we got the bucket up to there. Look at that. Again, I'm going to pre-wash these. Then we will soak them in salt water for about 24 hours. And then simply fry or saute in butter. Oh, they, they are good. The um, elkhorn mushroom, the cauliflower mushroom, and you're going to have a meal that you won't soon forget. Okay? I hope some of this information has helped you. Again, never a toadstool. Don't pick any of those up. And uh, be sure when you're picking things out of the wild that you know what you're eating and you're going to be okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to have some of these. Oh boy. I'll see ya.